You're about to listen to the message from Pastor Dr. Alfred Ajifuwe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church. Prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. We thank God Almighty this morning. Oh, for these second Sundays of this month of October 2023. And I pray that God Almighty will empower us uh, to see the remaining Sundays and the remaining days of this month and of this year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So because of this, I want more welcome everyone again to the uh, uh, month of October 2023. And I pray we will also see uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Genesis 26, verse 22, that says, and the healing move from them and did another word. And for that, they stole not. And he called the names of all it in the purpose. And he said, For now the Lord has made room for us, and we shall be fruitful in the land. So that was what happened to a man called Isaac after the death of his father. So after some years, about 10 years, that his fathers have, have left. So problem that began by, you know, the famine that happened. And uh, he passed, you know, a lot of jealousy happened between him and the, uh, the landowner in, in those areas where he was living. But then whenever he did any work, you know, uh, the, the, the enemy, those who are helping him around that uh, place where he was living, they will come and cover it. Even though those one who that uh, his father had done during his own lifetime, that he, he you know, uh, he, 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 he dig again for him to get well, they will come, the enemy will, will come and you know, cover it again. I pray that every uh, uh, paternal enemy and maternal enemy that have been struggling or have been doing negative things against us, God Almighty will silence them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, children of God, there is no one in this world that will pass through this world without anyone that telling this or the other or, or healthy people. There's a lot of uh, uh, enemy of progress in life. And I pray that every enemy of progress in our life, they will all fail in the mighty name of Jesus. We need to learn lesson from this uh, story that is in the book of Jacob, Genesis uh, 26, about Isaac. You know, he, 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 Isaac labor is you know his own labor and he affected uh over all his labor and that because of this I pray for someone today that uh, all of your your strongest in the beginnings of this year this month you will reap in the mighty name of Jesus this month shall be the month of our harvest in the mighty name of Jesus we will never labor in vain in Jesus name so children of God. We need to learn some things about uh, this Rehobo that we are talking about. Because uh, maybe you need to understand it. If you understand it, you will know how to, for, you have to focus on your prayer and to know what uh, you should do as children of God. Because Rehobo is a place of rest. Because when he got uh, to that place where he said, this is Rehobo, uh, because, because God Almighty gave him place. And I pray for someone today that God Almighty will give you an act. Rest over all our labor. You will not have labor in vain in the mighty name of Jesus. So, children of God, the home is a, a place of fulfillment. I pray that you will fulfill all your desire, all your dreams, all your plans in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, children of God, another thing I want you to know about the home is, is that uh, is a, a place of flourishing. So I pray that this month shall be the month of our own flourishing. Because when the Isaac get to that place of Rehoboth, he was not flourishing. So they said that there were people making the jealous of him. But later they have to come and settle with him because God Almighty made him to flourish than the people that were, you know, around. And, 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 and yeah, he was living, and they have to come and make peace with him. So, children of God, uh, the humble, it is a place of enlightenment. I pray that uh, 
you that the enemy have cared for for some time, you are set free today in the mighty name of Jesus. So don't be afraid. Don't you can have room in your mind, in your heart, that God will enlarge you. That you are ready for enlargement. Because so many people don't want to go, you know, bless them. But uh, the, 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 the way they think is, uh, is too shallow. They think very little thing. Think big. And God Almighty will surely surprise you. He will surprise your name. So don't make yourself to be a, a cheap article. Because so many people today, uh, enemies are getting of them. And they make themselves to be cheaper article. So please, children of God, I want you to know that you are very important. You are a child of God. So as a child of God, never you sell yourself. Don't sell yourself. So please make sure that you don't uh, you value yourself. Because if you don't value yourself, nobody will value you. And that was why they make cheap offers some some guys today. You know, they will just say, uh, talk to them, say, Who are you? You think that anybody will talk to you? You think that you are anything, and they will fall to the hands of uh, Say people that they are not supposed to. So please, children of God, value yourself. Know who you are, that you're a child of God, and uh, your father has glorious thing for you and I. So and if you can believe this, you will see that uh, you will get to your own reward or two. So God Almighty will enlarge you, He will expand you, if you will flourish, and things will be more ever better uh, for you than ever before. Let me tell you, children of God. If you believe God that, uh, that uh, this month will be the month of your own recovery, let me tell you, you start flourishing and you start getting things more better than ever before. You know, Isaac said, he said, the Lord has given him room uh, and, uh, you know, uh, we are, he said, uh, they are going to recover. You know, he knew and he believed that God had, had given him room to be flourished in that land. I pray that uh, any land where you that are hearing me, you are, you will flourish there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, because God Almighty always be with his own children, may God be with you wherever you are right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Look at it today, like in our own country now. So, so many people have, you know, run away uh, because of uh, uh, the challenges that we are facing. And, uh, uh, I see that first similar thing. And but I see stay, we have one more thing to stay. Uh, so we are you, you are today, you that you, you want to you know experience the world. Are you we have one more thing to stay? Uh, so if I ask you now that where you are, is it we have one more thing to be? So answer that question to, uh, to yourself. So you must be we are one more thing to be. Before you can see the hands of God, before God Almighty can be with you, because before God Almighty we sign you, we bless you, we make you to you know to, to experience your own reward. So I see it. they allow those who are criticizing him, you know, to to to, to drive him away. They are not wanting to be. So many people today, because of fear of man, because of people who are criticizing them, they let we have God want them to be. Let me tell you, children of God, there is no anywhere that God wants someone to be that the enemy will be happy with. So if you really trust God, according to the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to, to 7. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 7, that says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and then, Lord, unto and thy own understanding. So in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Look at that. If you want God to direct your path, you must trust him. And our seven say, be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So you can see, children of God. So go and read that uh, uh, the verse that he said. Um, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 7. So, if you really understand this portion, you will know that uh, you will be allowed God to direct you. You will not go where God did not send you. Because if God did not send you anywhere, He will not provide the transport for you. You can only struggle to, to, to get the transport of where God did not 
send you. But if God send you, he will provide them. And the transfer for you. So, children of God, if you want to be at your own reward, you must know where you are, where you are standing. You must trust God. Because I see that was, you know, was, was not tired of the enemy that uh, uh, are waging war against him. He continued to be working. So, a Christian was not, you know, uh, who wanted to be foolish. You must not be lazy. So, you know, if uh, a, you, you, you want to experience a lag way, you want to flourish, you must be diligent in whatever that you are doing. You must not be a Christian that is lazy. A lazy Christian is not a genuine Christian. So, children of God, uh, please check your way. Check what you are doing. Check, are you in the place where God wants you to be? But if you are not, you better amend your way now. You better change, uh, you know, your focus to where God wants you to focus. Because if you go astray from where God wants you to be, you cannot have the testimony of, uh, you know, that God wants you to have. So I pray that God Almighty will never forsake any of us in the mighty name of Jesus. So children of God, we continue uh, and next week, by God's grace, I pray that uh, you will arrive at your own uh, uh, definitions of, of, of fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. You will fulfill your, uh, your purpose in life. Satan will not wrong you and you will not wrong yourself by disobeying God in the mighty name of Jesus. God will help you and he will take us to our own report in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this hour. We glorify your name for who you are. Thank you for your this topic of Rehoboth. Because this one is going to be our own matter of Rehoboth too. Lord, as ever in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, our Father, this month, oh Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. Don't allow Satan to rob all of our own Rehoboth in the name of Jesus. Those who are discouraging us that those want us to have rest, Lord, let them, all their effort be abortive in the name of Jesus. Empower us, Lord. And oh, and we pray that this month we will achieve our goal. Our goal will never uh, will be run from us in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with us. Our life will move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. Power to please you that you give us us in the name of Jesus. Don't allow us to move out out of our own real good. In the name of Jesus, silence all the enemy of our glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. God bless you, children of God. Bye for, for now. See you next week.